Okay, I put my picture in here to make it seem more friendly. Do you feel like it's more friendly? Anyway, um, so this is for the pollinator graph. Uh, I opened up a Google Sheet and I called it pollinator data. And after one trial that didn't work at all, I realized that you need to put the sites down here in the first row. That makes it a lot easier. Um, site one and site two, you could name them. I'm just making this up, so I don't have a name for it. Um, just site one and site two. Um, and then I made up some data for you. I said there were 15 pollinator visits in 10 minutes. Remember that even if you've got like some giant or a bumblebee and it comes back three times, count it as three times, not just once. Um, and uh, six for site two. Now, I gotta move, no, I can, oh no, I have to move the picture here. There we go. Now I go to, oh, I highlighted all four of these cells here. And then I go to this little box, which is chart. Click there, like, no, I don't want to buy chart. I want a column chart, okay? Ta-da, look at that, site one, site two. Here's my uh, y-axis there. But what do I want to do? I think I'm good with this one, but I want to go to customize up here. And I don't know that this, for you who are stats, stats people, you might be like, but there's no error bars. But we can't have error bars because we don't have uh, raw data here. Um, there's, it's just, there's no opportunity to have, have it be raw data. Anyway, that means something to you. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Um, so we don't, we can't like really statistically analyze this. Um, and there's no error bars because these are just straight numbers. So now we're going to go to customize. <clears throat> and we want to customize the titles here. So you might call it pollinator visits between comparing two sites, or you could call it comparing pollinator visits between two sites. However you call it, you know, you just want to make it descriptive, right? So now we have a chart title. We need to have a title on our, the long tail of the Y, the uh, vertical axis. Vertical axis title is, Oh, look it, because I already did this to test it out. <clears throat> Pollinator visits right there. Ta-da! Now, you could also, um, we could make a horizontal axis title. You could say, my backyard, or two sites, or whatever. I don't think I really need to do that, because you, if you had labeled these as specific places, like my backyard and the park, whatever, that would be fine. So that's good. See, you got a title. You've got a y-axis um, a vertical axis uh, title, um, and you have your sites identified. And there's your graph. Ta-da, look at that. It's not so hard. And more skill building in using uh, spreadsheets and making graphs, which is usually a pretty good thing. Okay.